and the image of the beast. To know something about the Bible you can never paint texts. Brushing texts is the act of taking texts that fit an idea and ignoring texts that are contrary to that idea. In the Bible, the texts must be in accordance with the idea that one wishes to define. The act of trying to hide texts that are contrary is an act of bad faith. Many people try to define events to get attention, but it has to be observed if what they say is really what the Bible quotes. For Christians, the rule for something has to be established in the Bible. That should be the rule. Let's read several biblical texts and see if the sculpture placed at the UN is biblically, the image of the beast. In Revelation 13:14, we have the following text, because of the signs she was allowed to perform in the name of the first beast, she deceived the inhabitants of the land. She ordered them to make an image in honor of the beast that was wounded by the sword and yet will come back to life. The question is, did the UN order the Aztec Jaguar sculpture to be made to place in front of the UN building? The answer is no. The Aztec Jaguar sculpture was the creation of three Mexican artists. And it was a donation to the UN, which neither requested nor ordered its construction. Was the Aztec Jaguar supposed to honor the first beast? No because the Aztec Jaguar is a praise for Aztec culture linked to the Mexican government, and neither Mexico nor Aztec culture has anything to do with the concepts of the apocalypse. If we read Revelations at 1.15 p.m. we have, Power was given to her to breathe breath into the image of the first beast, so that she could speak and have all who refused to worship the image killed. Again we can ask other questions. Does the image of the Aztec Jaguar breathe and speak? Has the UN set to worship the Aztec Jaguar? Again, this was not done. The Aztec Jaguar was not a highlight of the UN, being defined that its popularity was created by religious groups. Thus, such a sculpture has no feature of importance in the concept of the death of human beings. Even the jaguar is created in a non-religious but artistic way with great coloring. If we read Revelations 14-9 we have, A third angel followed them, saying in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or hand, at this point we have another question, does the UN determine to worship the Jaguar? No, not even such a sculpture's prominence is in relation to the UN. The sculpture is merely an advertisement for the Mexicondo people and their Aztec culture, and especially for the three artists who produced it. At 2.11 p.m. we have and the smoke of such people's torment rises forever and ever. For all who adore the beast and his image, and for those who receive the imprint of his name, there is no rest, day and night. The image of the Aztec Jaguar does not represent the UN, but Mexico and its culture. And there is no basis on which the UN would define killing anyone who did not worship the Aztec Jaguar. In fact it is a mere sculpture on the door of the UN, which is not given any respect for divinity or power. It is just a sculpture given by Mexico. In Revelations 15-2 we can read, I saw something like a sea of glass mixed with fire, and, standing by the sea, those who had conquered the beast, their image and the number of their name. They held harps that had been given to them by God. What we have is that Mexican sculpture has no basis for being at the height of something that needs to be overcome. In fact, its popularity is directly linked to religious groups. The UN does not have anything that gives importance to this sculpture 
nor does it define that such sculpture is of importance to the image of the UN. In Revelation 16-2 we have, The first angel went and poured out his cup on the earth. And malignant and painful wounds opened in those who bore the mark of the beast and worshipped his image. Would it be possible to imagine that a sculpture of a jaguar linked to Aztec culture would be of such importance so that in today's culture, where people are losing all deity worship culture, they worship an artistic sculpture of a forgotten deity? The answer would be, no. Today's culture would have no idea of worshipping artistic sculpture. In fact, a good reading of the texts that we have read so far, it will be seen that the image of the beast is not in a sculpture, but in a way of life. Any other biblical text about the image of the beast is linked to worship, but the world seeks to worship itself and not other things. In fact, Modernity seeks to believe in nothing but the money they have. The only position of worship today is anthropocentrism, linked to one's own pleasures, and the pursuit of satisfying greed. These are the foundations of human destruction. And these actually represent the culture of the beast, and the image of the beast, as well as its number. People are adapting to these pleasure systems justified by anthropocentrism and selfishness, linked to the belief in the non-existence of God. To keep observing and giving values to sensational objects, only serve to divert the thought from oneself, to observe the heart, and see if anthropocentrism is not being linked to the heart itself. It is important to improve one's own heart, and connect to the absolute truth in order to make sure that you are not connected to the beast, nor to its image, nor to its number. That they are not and will not be obligations, but pleasures chosen by the free will of men, which are not linked to absolute truth. If you are looking for more content from different areas, visit the reformadorstasad.com website. News and detailed content can be found with system of research and organization of text and video.